Continuing from the last episode, I travel about 200 kilometers to Kuala Kangsa from KL Central, which would take me about three hours. Once there, I was looking forward to meet an old friend, or should I say, my Shifu. Here at Kuala Gangsa, we travelled towards Lengong by car, which would take us approximately 45 minutes. And since it's about 2 pm now, you guys definitely know my most favourite thing when travelling food. A home-based business by one of the residents here, we are served with Malay dishes which definitely reminds me of home and my mom's cooking. Not to forget, there are certainly plenty of cats here that will keep you company while you are eating. We continued our journey towards Kampong Bank which is located on the banks of Chendro Lake. And we are finally here at Kampong Bank. Feels really good to be restarting the travel vlog again and to be able to revisit this place which means a lot to me as an angler and a travel vlogger. Hey guys, so basically I'm here at uh, Abang Lan's place setting up my gears. I think I need to swap some of my hooks as well. In the first two days, we basically will be playing itself here where Abang Lan stays. And the third day would be at Kernering, so-called a very popular spot to play giant snake hits. The first day and second, we'll be using mainly this Rapala Trailblazer Monster Hunt lights. And as I like to see, we will be on my Monster Hunt light block. Once the setting up of gears is done, it was finally time to get ice and drinks for our first session tomorrow. followed by another kampong food experience which is just a short drive away from Kampong Bank. Quick dinner for us and we headed back to Kampong Bank for an early rest to prepare for tomorrow. It is finally our fishing day guys, starting out with fried rice for breakfast and remember what I told you guys about cats accompanying you during your meals? Sungai Perak the second longest river in Peninsular Malaysia after Pahang River in Pahang, Malaysia. It is about 400 kilometers long, flowing from highlands to the Straits of Malacca. There are four different dams that can be found in Sungai Perak. The uppermost and the first one is Temango Dam, followed by Persia Dam, Kernering Dam, and finally, where I will be fishing today, Chenderu Dam. The Chendero Dam is the oldest hydropower dam in Malaysia, which is located 50 meters above sea level. Definitely one of my to-do lists for this channel is to fish in all four dams. Unfortunately, I was told that the water level was higher than usual, which will make our session harder as most fishers will swim out to the open and out of their known usual hiding spots. But that definitely won't stop us from fishing. At our first spot here, we started out with jump frogs, whisking through and between wheat patches, hoping to entice what's oh lurking bang, beneath eh? it. I managed to get a miss strike, which likely has to be a snakehead, but unfortunately, out of so many footages, my GoPro decides to get that exact footage corrupted. <laughs> Oh, 
dia tak nak dia tak nak dia ni dia tak nak sinking dia We then moved to another spot, a place where you can find tilapias being reared for food. I was told that snakeheads loves to hang out near places like this and we proceeded to attempt and lure them out with our noisy bus baits and propeller lures. Do it for my little man, that's my 20 twin, reason why I win, a lot of missed calls, looking bloody in my car log, I bet to myself, I'm not sorry that I love dog, check my mental health, I was feeling like a lost dog, bounce back and wipe my paws off. Still, no fishes and right at the moment where I wanted to have a water break, we saw a snakehead dry ball. Okay, I know some of my viewers here are not anglers. So what is a fry ball? A fry ball basically consists of hundreds and hundreds of baby snakeheads swimming together, making them appear like a moving ball. Usually ranging from dark brown to bright red in color, depending on the maturity stage of the babies. They are mostly guarded by their parents, which are usually aggressive and protective. So usually when we see a fry ball, we will try to cast around the radius of the fry ball in an attempt to get the parents to take all their Sounds easy, does it? Sometimes it takes a super long time to entice the parents to strike our lure. So I would say it's a 50-50 chance still. Oh, dude. So unfortunately for us, we couldn't get any of them to take our lure. We spent the whole day changing spots and various lures trying to land at least one fish. And we finally concluded the day with... Right, kau kawan. End of day one. Kita semua kumpau. Kumpau, kumpau. Mama Tohman, fry ball, semua tak ambil. TV, fry ball, tak ambil. Miss call, dua. I think we're gonna uh, go back soon, so uh, we shall continue towards the day two video. Uh. So we're gonna go and rest. So we shall see you guys on day two. Our second day at Tasik Chendro, starting the day with positive mindset despite the tough session we had yesterday. Weather and water condition was somewhat similar and my guide today will be Shamil. Game plan was quite similar to yesterday, exploring different places and casting at whatever opening and structures we could find. Even spotted a couple of snakehead fry balls, and again, none wanted to open their mouth and take our lure. <laughs> it was indeed another challenging day until Shamil started playing skipping on his soft plastic lure. Yeah. 
Lagi sikit tapi kita nampak colour dia Unfortunately, we weren't able to land it successfully for you guys The search continues Exploring different parts of the river And hoping to land at least one fish In this tough weather and session Spot dia ada ha. Mungkin dia duduk dalam ni tadi Macam mana boleh kena belah ni? Uh, I check kat Nampak video dia lah Lepas tu I message dia 2 tahun lalu Ah ah, uh, ada ikan sambal. Pick up best, pick up best. Depan-depan ni je. Saya rasa dia ikut depan dia lubang tu tadi. Boleh nampak. Ah, dia ah, sambal tu. Tapi tak kena. Ada ada. Ah, tu tadi ada saiz. Ya, ah, baru ni baru. Lagi besar tadi. Pasal dia dah sambal, nampak perut dia merah. Kena pula dia. Alamak. Kena. Right. Oi. Butter stick juga dia nak. Okay. Ada saiz Ini saiz Ah, sama ni ni Ada saiz ya Ada saiz ya Oh, ada Layar ada Ada, ada Ada morning we've been trying popper and pencil and decided to change to the storm flutter stick and finally a peacock bass a mono one picked up this fish <laughs> uh, thanks to my guide Shami <laughs> on the camera now right <laughs> good fight good fight all right okay, we shall release the fish okay okay catch and release guys mantap, Ooh, mantap. <laughs> The session continued afterwards but indeed luck wasn't on my side. We couldn't learn anything at all after this. Though, I'm thankful enough to be able to experience fishing in a beautiful place like this. Such scenic views which I can't really find back home in Singapore. And that sums my session at Tasik Chundru, Kampung Bang. Alright guys, welcome back to the future me and basically that was Chundru River. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for the lack of updates and lack of posts but if you guys actually remembered about two weeks ago, I posted a short video on my YouTube channel and that is like a hint or a preview of what's going to be upcoming next in the coming episodes. Collaboration between MQ Fish and Tourism Malaysia. I'm excited 
about these particular episodes or the bunch of episodes we're going to be hosting out because it's like my very first offshore fishing and I'm not going to be spoiling too much basically it's an offshore fishing out in JB Mersing and of course this episode today you just watch the fishing in Chindro River it has been quite tough to be honest as compared to my very first time fishing there in Kampung Bank I actually landed more fishes than I actually landed in these particular episodes it's been quite a tough two day session to be honest basically there are things which are beyond our control for example the water level was much higher than usual which makes fishing a bit tough so we as an angler no doubt how tough the conditions are we all know as an angler that perseverance plays a part luck plays a part and hard work plays a part because having the skills to fish plays a big part as well so all these uh, little things that contribute to whether or not your fishing session will be successful fortunately enough we managed to land some fishes or in fact I just land one mono peacock bass and my guide Shame actually dropped a snakehead on the second episode which you guys actually just saw so that was Chandra River guys in the next episode if you guys actually remembered I told you guys about this four different dams in Perak so the most lowest one or the last one was in fact um, in Chandra River and the next one we're gonna go in the next episode is one level up which is canoeing. so in canoeing itself is gonna be one full day of fishing session which I'm excited about because it's gonna be mainly snakeheads uh, fishing you guys know how much I love giant snakeheads right but whether or not it's gonna be a successful session or a tough session like what we just watched earlier I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys so guys do stay safe stay healthy fish responsibly and tight lines everyone i shall see you guys in the next one wait actually been getting a lot of dms pms private messages whatsapp messages facebook messages and stuff about my last episode about my kl trip where actually it was purely food vlog maybe i should incorporate a bit more food inside my travel vlogs next time mm -hmm. You guys know how much I love food, right? So, maybe, why not? Yeah. Anyway, see you guys in the next one.